Plenty of streets on the Front Range remain covered in that snow and ice after that weekend storm. It means plow crews in many communities still working the roads tonight. Bill Folsom looking into the challenges they face. He's live on the Springs West Side tonight for us, Bill. Hey, just a minute ago, we had a plow passes by. They are still at work. It has been all hands on deck through the weekend and through today. Those plow crews, they have been doing alternating shifts around the clock. The snow, it has stopped, but they will be working into tomorrow. A weekend on the clock for streets crews in Colorado Springs. Our shifts run from midnight to noon and then noon to midnight, and that's been uh, nonstop since we started at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Pre-treating, then dealing with Saturday into Sunday snow, then a setback with more snow than expected Sunday evening. We saw the band over Castle Rock, anticipated that band weakening, and as it moved south, it actually intensified, and when it hit us, it dumped hard. Add in extreme cold. Our materials are effective uh, down to uh, the teens. We start getting down into the single digits, and uh, the effectiveness really starts dropping off on them. And what that means is that we have plows uh, heading out trying to peel up compacted snow, and our plow trucks uh, uh, just aren't real effective at that. Plows can remove the top layer, but packed frozen snow clings. When the storm passes, there is still work. The sun helps. You can see steam from moisture on heated pavement rising into the cold air. Roads still wet will refreeze when the sun goes down. It means more work needs to happen before the Monday commute. I do anticipate some level of call out uh, through tomorrow morning easily. And we did some looking into our records and what we're seeing is that more than 50% of this year's snow events have happened either on weekends or on holidays. We asked streets managers about that and they say yes, that is eating into their overtime budget. They're not in trouble yet, but they are watching that closely. Watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill, thank